Okay, so the name of this story is The Fake Smart. Now, this is a story of uh, an average guy named Jimmy. Now, Jimmy was in living in upstate. I mean, the high stakes of the city where there are estates and bungalows and all that. It is a little more of uh, a garden, not a garden exactly, a hilly area. Now, he loved to come to the city because city was filled with a lot of people, cars, streets, buildings and so on. But then, uh, even though he was living in a hilly area, he wasn't that rich. But then he always thought he was smarter than the others. He would always fool people with his mathematics tricks. He would always ask people a countless number of questions or he would ask people that if you can't answer this, give me the money. But then if I can't answer something you ask, I'll give you the double of it. So it was he was quite famous for his wit and smartness that people were actually intimidated by him. So one day as Jimmy walked into the city, he was looking around and he saw fruit vendors. Now he tried his wit again on those fruit vendors, the poor people. He tried to give pull off a mathematical trick by which he said, Okay, I will buy all of your stuffs if you can tell me exactly how much it costs to buy half of your stuffs and divide it by the half of the price. Now the fruit vendors were completely perplexed and then he made a deal that if they couldn't answer then they'll have to give him one packet of those bangles. And as agreed, the vendors couldn't answer because they were not as educated as him. So they had to give him one packet of mangoes for free. Now as he walked below he saw a humongous and a very beautiful building right by the side of the vendor. It was very tall, it was a skyscraper. That what he did was that he was just looking at it and then he was just wondering you know he's a mathematician he loves the numbers he loves calculations so he started counting so what had happened was that there was another guy who came up to him i mean jimmy does not know his name and he said uh did you count the floors and then jimmy was like yeah i did he was like oh then you'll have to pay me 10 rupees for each floors jimmy was a little confused i mean how why why should he do why should i do that and the guy was like that's how the rule around here is maybe you don't know because you're from somewhere else now jimmy had no idea but then he said that he counted uh 13 floors so he gave him 130 rupees and what had actually happened was that while walking by jimmy laughed at himself and he said i actually counted 20 floors and he i just gave him 130. so that was a winning for jimmy in spite of losing a lot now we might always think that we are very smartest in the world, we are smartest in a group, but then that's not true. There's always somebody who's better than us, who's smarter than us. So never be too much, you know, uh, proud, over proud of yourself or your intelligence, your financial wealth, because one day someone else is going to prove us wrong.